So now I'm going to show you how to do with the two-point perspective. Before we start, we're just going to crop this image that's attached because we don't want those black lines. And I'm going to just press enter. And there we go. So that's a much better, uh, let's just hide this. Yeah, it fits the whole drawing. We're happy. And I'm going to go get the two-point perspective tool, turn that on. And one of the things we're get, we want to do is line this up with where we think this line goes. So that's a little tricky, but uh, let's just do that Come down here. And I'm going to actually start over, turn this off. This, oops. So I'm going to just move this to where I think it probably is for now. And I can see that it's probably off here. And I see how it snaps, so that's how it knows. And I'm going to move this. And you may want to use your puck tool to, uh, to zoom out here. So I'm going to use the zoom and just zoom out a little bit more. It's probably good enough. I'll X that and go back here, two-point perspective. Now I'm going to create a new layer. I'm going to just put that one above. All right, and for now, probably erase, but I just want to see, oh, that's about right. And over here, I'm going to go, yeah, it's about right. So I'm, I'm happy with that. I'm going to go control Z, control Z. Now I may want to go on this layer and lower the opacity just so I can see what I'm doing with the other one. Whoops. Over here and lower it. We'll go to 50%. And I'm going to come on here. And I think everybody kind of knows what to do at this point because we covered this. And if, if you see that it's off a little bit, then you know you're one point. But again, this is a reference image. You don't want to copy it. You want to use it to inspire you to make your own. So I'm a little bit off there, but again, I don't care because I'm making my own. I'm going to go down here and I'll just go like this. This is the center point for me. And for now, I'm just going to kind of copy. See, there was actually that one's a little bit crooked, but that's their error, not ours. So that's what your goal is, is to clean this up. Could be that your reference image points are a little bit off so that's another thing to look for and then you just keep going like this and keep cleaning this up and whoops throw that on that one yeah their image is a little crooked and that's fine as long as you're aware of that and you're careful and you take your time one thing you want to do is close off your lines hit the light here oops Oh, you know what? I was drawing on the wrong layer. Well, that's a huge mistake. I should have been drawing on this layer. Anyways, I'm going to stop there. Um, but that basically is what you, you're going to do for this uh, two-point perspective drawing is make a rough draft. And then once you're done your rough draft, you can create an extra layer. So let's just pretend we want to bring this, this one all the way to the top. So this could be, you know, your rough draft over here, which I would usually label it. And I'm going to go rough draft rough one sometimes you want more than one but and sometimes your rough two you do by pen but that's uh, up to you to decide it might be easier with some of the tools that i talked about was this tool over here which is excellent and you'll see this one here is one i didn't talk about but it's excellent too you go click click then click click and double click when you're done okay so that is another tool that you could definitely use that works well. And since you have a reference image, it's kind of easy. Okay, and you can finish here and just double click. Okay, so if you have any questions, please let me know.